Good morning, TVers. I'm Kier. And I'm Jasmine. Today is January 29th, 2021, and you're watching Mount Oma TV. Next week is the last week for the first semester of the school year. There will be normal classes Monday and Tuesday, but on Wednesday it is a late start with first period starting at 9.30. And Thursday will be classes 4, 5, and 6 with the normal bell schedule. And on Friday we have no school. Also remember T-Birds, if you want to change your second semester schedule, email your counselor before February 3rd. Students with the last name A through E is Miss Whitley, F through L is Miss Irvin, M through R is Miss Kupfer, and S to Z is Miss Stefke. Let's say a big, a big congratulations to our 2021 Daffodil Princess, Ashley and Nita Borrega. Also shout out to Sophia Denham for all her hard work and participation. Ashley was crowned at her house by the past Daffodil Prince, Princess, Hannah Hong. Now let's get a new science fact from Soperi. Hey Tubers, it's Soperi with your science news story. Last night on January 28th, Thursday, there was a full moon that rose in the east after sunset. The full moon was the first full moon in January, which was also called the wolf moon. January's full moon, which has also been called the freeze moon, the frost exploding moon, and cold moon, earned the wolf moon moniker from people who heard wolves howling more often during the seven year. According to the Old Farmer's Almanac, quote, it was traditionally thought wolves howled due to hunger, but we now know that wolves used house to define territory, locate pack members, reinforce social bonds, and gather for hunting, end quote. Hopefully you witnessed the wolf moon on Thursday night, and I hope you guys have a great day. Now here is Angelina for what's coming up next in sports. Hi you guys, it's Angelina here with your sports news today. Um, on Wednesday this week, former Seattle Seahawks offensive tackle Chad Wheeler was charged following his arrest on suspicion of felony assault domestic violence. The King County Prosecutor's Office filed criminal charges of first-degree first domestic violence, assault, domestic unlo violence, unlawful imprisonment, and resisting arrest under Wheeler. He was accused of choking out his girlfriend twice until she lost consciousness. This has led to Wheeler being on house arrest, where they will be tracking him. But as of now, we, we all know for certain that he isn't on the team anymore. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. See you next time. Communities and schools are proud to announce that they are offering food boxes for Gray and Mount Oma students and families. This will be every Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. with a first serve basis starting today. Boxes can be picked up at Gray Middle School. There has been a lot of talk about COVID cases and when we can go back to in-person as kindergartners went back last week. For more news on COVID in our state, let's go over to our local news team. Hi T-Birds, I'm Masai and I'm here to tell you some local news. The COVID-19 cases have gone down, but on January 27th, there were still 100,724 cases reported and 49 deaths. Washington being 310 cases and 294 deaths. Make sure you stay safe and always wear your mask, T-Birds. Have a good day. Back to the desk. Before we head off into the weekend, here's our TikTok of the day. of the video uh it was kind of funny and good to see like teachers from mount Oma and administrators yeah i thought it was like really kind of cringy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, that does it for today's news. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Kiara. And I'm Jasmine. Subscribe to us on YouTube to never miss a story. Once the T-word. Always a T-word. Have a great, a great day. day. <laughs>